Recording regular videos on YouTube is really difficult and it's not until you actually start doing it you realize how hard it is to actually just set the camera up, start recording and get a video published. Now there's lots of videos giving you tips on what equipment to use and how to set things up and how to edit and all these type of things, which is, which is amazing and it's really useful, great content. However, I do feel like sometimes there's a, there's a lack of like non-technical skills that are needed that I think a lot of people really overlook. So I'm gonna give you three fantastic tips that have helped me massively um, to create content. Tip number one is to have your recording equipment permanently set up in a corner, in a space, somewhere you can record without having to set up and power things in and plug things on. Get yourself a little corner of a room, anywhere you possibly can, and just have your camera on a tripod all the time and have a light next to it. Whatever you need to do to record, have it all ready for you. So you can just walk into the room and go, right, I'm gonna record a video and hit record. It's amazing the mental block it gives you when the camera is tucked away in a bag or on your desk or in, on a shelf somewhere else and you've got to find the batteries, you've got to find this, the SD card. You're just giving yourself hurdles that you don't need to. So if you can, of course, I appreciate not everybody has the space to do this, but if you can, get yourself a permanent recording space. It's gonna make a huge difference on your mentality for recording. Tip number two is related to the first tip, and that is to have your recording space tidy. You won't believe what a difference th this makes. For me, if my room is a mess, I mean, it's not a tidy room in general, but the fact that there's nothing on the floor and there's no clothes everywhere and bits and just rubbish all over the room, that, you know, it just gathers when you're in here all the time. You know, I work a lot in this studio. I do a lot of editing and gaming and all sorts of stuff and it just gets messy. So when I come to the point where I wanna record a video like this, I just think, oh, hang on, I just need to, I should really just tidy this away, and oh, that's a bit messy, and, and think, oh, maybe I'll do it later, and, and you kind of lose the sort of rhythm and the flow, and you just don't record. It makes a huge difference. As soon as I tidy up, I think, wow, this is great, I, I could record something. So try and keep wherever you are recording as tidy as possible as tidy as you sort of feel mentally comfortable with. And that's what you gotta remember. So just have a think about it when you are setting up and when you are recording in the environment you're actually working in. Tip number three and the final tip is have somewhere to record your ideas. Now this can be a pen and paper on your desk with just any time you get an idea, you think that's a good video idea, get that written down. You don't have to think about it, you don't have to expand on it unless you really want to. Just a line to say what the video is going to be about. And kind of what, when you're writing it down, think about where you were sort of mentally thinking the video might go if you've got that far. Because it's amazing how a change of scenery, a change of circumstances, mood, you kind of forget the angle you're aiming for on the video idea. So just have a little think about you know, where you can jot the idea down so you've got a nice history. If you don't like pen and paper, um, I really like Notion for note taking. I think it's a brilliant app. It's available on Android, iOS, desktop PC, Mac, everything. It's available everywhere. It's just a really comprehensive note taking tool. Um, it's far too complicated for me to explain. Um, I just use it very basically, um, but it's a great app. You can use Trello. You can use Google Docs, you can use the Note app on your phone, whatever it is you need to do to get ideas written down. Make sure you make a note of them because sometimes you do find yourself with, you know, you've got half a day free, you've got a couple of hours free, whatever you have spare. You don't want to be wasting that time thinking, hmm, what could I, what could I do a video about today? You know, you're already losing. Have your ideas, have as many ideas as you possibly can in advance. So you can just walk into your beautifully tidy room with your notepad and you can go up to your already set up camera, hit record and you're, you're good to go. A lot of people recommend you use scripts for YouTube or if you don't use scripts, you use bullet points. And I think bullet points are a great idea. I personally don't, I can't read a script 
because I probably talk too fast and I just stumble across my own words. So I don't find scripts very helpful for me. Bullet points are very helpful for me if I'm doing a quite an in-depth topic and I wanna make sure I cover everything. But for videos like, like this now, it's for me, how I work is just totally off the top of my head. So it's just off the cuff, talking to the camera, just like I'm talking to a friend of mine who wants some advice. And that's how I approach all these videos. I don't have any notes, nothing written down. I just had the note of the video idea. Oh, I should talk about that, that's cool. And that's where the idea come from. So, if you found those three tips helpful, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.